And there is a necessary perseverance to becoming a champion. And did you know that you were born to be a champion too? Good morning, family. Thank you so much for tuning in and taking the time to watch our devotionals here from ALFC. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the word champion. When you hear the word champion, what or who do you think of? For some of you, it might be um, a sports person or a sports team that you like. If you're Pastor John, you like the Dallas Cowboys and they might be a champion to you. Or um, a soldier in the military that's, uh, that you're, uh, is a family member of yours or a successful business person in your life. Whoever it might be, when you hear that word champion, you, they come to your mind. So what I wanna tell you is that they all have something in common, no matter what it was, a soldier, a business person, uh, you know, if they played sports, whatever it is. And what that is is that they all persevered, persevered despite the challenges that they faced. They all persevered despite the challenges that they faced. And all of them worked hard to become that champion. In sports, they practiced in private, they trained, they sacrificed time. You know, they even sacrificed their diet and went, you know, had to eat certain ways. Um, if it's a soldier, they also trained, they did boot camp, they got trained for war, sacrificed their time as well, you know, away from family members, loved ones. And even if you're a successful businessman or a businesswoman, you sacrificed going to college all those years or time away from your family, whatever it is, they all persevered and they all sacrificed something. And there is a necessary perseverance to becoming a champion. And did you know that you were born to be a champion too? But maybe today you feel defeated, you know, especially with everything going on in this season of our lives. We all feel kind of, you know, maybe timid or afraid or we're unsure. There's an un uncertainty of what's ahead and, and we might feel defeated in some areas. Um, but whatever that defeat looks like to you, I'm here to tell you that you're more than a conqueror. God has made you to be more than a conqueror. So I encourage you to just get back up. You know, if you fall, just get back up again. Don't be defeated. And in Romans chapter 8, verse 37, in the Amplified Version, it says, Yet in all things we are more than conquerors and gain an overwhelming victory through Him who loved us so much that He died for us. So again, we are more than conquerors. We are champions because God is a champion and He's right, right there walking hand in hand, side by side, holding us, guiding us, leading us. And so because he is victorious, we are victorious. And y'all know I gotta sing a chorus of a song because that's just kind of my, <laughs> my tag on these devos for you. Um, it's one of my favorite songs right now and it's, it is called Champion. Um, and the chorus, it goes something like this. It says, you are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you've won. I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence. I am seated in the heavenly place undefeated with the one who has conquered it all. So be encouraged today that you are more than a conqueror because Christ is in you. God bless you guys. Oh,